Hey guys, this is Tarunia from Minus Gateway. So today we're going to check out uh, uh, the RTX 3060 Ti, which uh, I got it almost at a very good deal, right? So and also some uh, you know GPU Rises uh, version 14 uh, Pro. So what I'll be doing is I'll be putting uh, I'll be testing the RTX 3060 Ti to look at uh, the latest uh, you know LHR unlocks by T-Rex and uh, LOL Miner. So we'll be doing an unboxing and uh, you know taking a look at uh, the 3060 Ti and also we'll be looking at uh, you know the GPU rises the 14 uh, 14s version 14 Pro. So stay tuned for that. So here it is, guys. Uh, so this is uh, uh, the version 14 Pro uh, GPU risers uh, from Pi Plus. Uh, uh, please note that this is not a sponsored video. Uh, so this is uh, I have been uh, purchasing Pi Plus, uh, you know, risers for a very long time, and uh, you know uh, they have been very stable and reliable uh, um, for uh, the period uh, that I've been started uh, that I have started mining. So I have had no issues so far with uh, Pi Plus. So so they have uh, some great quality products, and this is the latest version. Uh, uh, 14 Pro, which comes with the temperature sensor here, so you can uh, it actually displays the temperature uh, in and around your rig. So each of these risers have, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Each of these risers have the temperature sensor on it, and it comes with uh, this clip as well, which is a handy thing, uh, which can actually hold uh, uh, your card onto the PCI Express X1 slot uh, when uh, you actually connect the riser up to the motherboard. And uh, you know, surprisingly, they have also sent me a headphone uh, um, in in the pack. So I had ordered uh, six risers from uh, Pi Plus, and uh, you know, they were uh, they were kind enough to ship this very quickly. And uh, surprisingly, they actually also sent this uh, headphones uh, in the box. Uh, you know, as a, so I would like to thank them for uh, uh, this uh, unexpected surprise. Now uh, moving to uh, the graphics card, right? So this is an RTX 3060 Ti, uh, which I bought it for about uh, 55,000, uh, uh, including GST in Bangalore. Um, I deal with a company called uh, Cubix IT Solutions uh, based out of Bangalore. And uh, they actually give me very competitive pricing on the 3060, um, you know, 3060, 3060 Ti. Uh, if you look, this card is going to go to... Uh, this rig here, right? And uh, uh, I recently added uh, another uh, RS Elite uh, 3060 onto this rig. And uh, the first one was also, uh, you know, uh, purchased from uh, Cubic IT Solutions. Some of the hardware here on uh, my mining rig is uh, bought from Cubic IT Solutions. And once again, uh, please remember, guys, this is not a sponsored video. Um, if you want to buy hardware at uh, you know, competitive prices. Uh, uh, these people, I find them uh, giving uh, Cubic IT solution. I find them giving me, uh, you know, genuine pricing uh, the, with very less margins from their side. Um, so I will uh, leave the contact details in the in the description below. If you are interested in buying it, uh, they do ship uh, Pan India. And uh, if you are wondering what the B450 Tomahawk is. Uh, that is, uh, this motherboard is going to be, uh, I'm going to use this motherboard on the last mining rig that is here at this point of time. Uh, you know, uh, this this board that I have is a Gigabyte uh, uh, HM310, uh, H310M motherboard. Uh, this, uh, this board doesn't seem to detect any cards above uh, four GPUs. So I'm going to replace this motherboard and I'm going to have this uh, put up on my test bench so that, you know, I can use it as a test bench uh, in uh, later on. So I will be replacing it with the B450 Tomahawk. I already have the G, uh, G3000 AMD Athlon processor, which I'll use uh, uh, to expand this rig as well. So uh, let's get back to the unboxing, guys. Uh, so at this point of time, just give me a second. Let me mount this uh, phone on to my mobile mount and let's put all this aside so so this is the RTX 3060 Ti that I got from uh, 
you know uh, the local dealer here so i will be taking a look at this card to see what is there in this box right let me just adjust the camera this table is a little small so i'm just okay so you have some labels you have some paperwork here and uh, let's take a look at the card let's keep this aside right so let's get this going so this is the card guys so this comes with uh, one eight pin connector uh, whereas the rs elite right it comes with um, a uh, 8 pin and a 6 pin connector that it is needed so what i'll do is uh, i will uh, set this up on my mining rig at this point of time and uh, i will actually you know test the hash rate uh, with the, both uh, the latest version of trex miner and lol miner to see uh, which of these uh, cards uh, which of these miners are giving me a better efficiency so i will uh, i will see you in a bit uh, after i set this up uh, thank you so we are back guys so as uh, we discussed right i have set up my rtx 3060 ti on my one of my mining rigs and with the latest version of uh, trex miner that is the version uh, 0.261 uh, i am getting about 61.565 uh, mega hashes at 130 watts and uh, this is uh, this has been consistent uh, over a period uh, of uh, uh, from the time uh, Uh, these LHR unlocks have come out, uh, especially uh, from an NB NB miner and uh, from a T-Rex miner standpoint of view. Uh, so here, what you're seeing is uh, uh, T-Rex miner actually lost uh, one of the GPUs. When I say lost uh, one of the GPUs, uh, it gives a error message saying that GPU lost uh, and uh, the miner reboots. So that has happened uh, uh, for about uh, you know five hours or so. and it is rebooted so at this point of time i think i, I was sleeping and uh, i couldn't attend to this so uh, after even after multiple reboots uh, from hashrate watchdog uh, this uh, gpu hasn't recovered so what i did is when i came back online i, I had to manually shut down this uh, rig and uh, turn it back on whereas i didn't see a similar kind of issue with nb miner so i'm going to test this for some more time and see uh, what uh, how it turns out uh, and uh, probably after that maybe what i might do is i might actually switch to uh, uh switch to nb miner itself if i am uh, still finding stability issues with uh, any of my cards but uh, I, i'm sorry i'm deviating out of topic but uh, back to the topic uh, you know um, the uh, zotac uh, 3060 ti uh, is doing about 61.65 mega hashes uh, at Uh, 130 power limit 1605 core and 2400 uh, memory so looks to be pretty stable uh, no uh, no concerns here um, from an overclock standpoint of view uh, what um, what i got with uh, lol miner was uh, 60.65 or 60.6 or somewhere around that when i was testing it um, i had uh, tested it with uh, dual mining uh, in one of my uh, previous videos uh, i will show you that as well uh, i will link that up here somewhere so that you can take a look at it and um, you know for now it looks uh, pretty simple so if you guys uh, you know uh, like what i do and uh, you know um, like my content uh, please uh, you know subscribe and uh, also hit that like button uh, if you have any comments or questions or feedbacks you know uh, please uh, feel free to put them down in the comment section below i will respond to you as quickly as i can as soon as i get a notification uh, on that uh, until our next video um, you guys take care stay safe uh, and i'll i'll speak to you guys in the next video thank you for watching take care